Probably Google Maps, actually. I lived in uh, Botswana for three years, Southern Africa, which I thought was very remote, and uh, but actually using Google Maps, I found my house there. And, and just realising the extent of the reach really made me think, oh, that, you know, if you've got it there, then it's just, it's everywhere. So that was it, really, I think. Being able to watch my, looking at my, my pool and my garden online from thousands of miles away. <laughs> Um, I would say just give it a go. Don't don't be scared. Don't be worried. Don't feel as though you're not good enough to have a go. Uh, and I was quite scared to try anything new. But I think um, with Trish being sort of so calm and uh, and very patient, she usually manages to find things for me. So I've got a lot more confidence in having a go and finding out things for myself and knowing where to look rather than having to be shown all the time. So it is confidence is the biggest thing. Well, we have a village hall where we live, which is used a lot um, for local groups, sort of play groups, um, over 60s lunches, that kind of thing, and they're always obviously looking for money. So we have a few things a year that I help them with, um, Apple Days and May Day, that kind of thing. So it's kind of setting up and selling tea and you know basic things, but making cakes to sell and helping out in the kitchen, that kind of thing. So just fundraising to keep the hall going for all the local groups. It set me on my way now for looking for work, which is something I wouldn't have done a while back. It's been, it's really good, so give it a go and don't be scared.